I served the United States Army. I got an accident, and then I was in the future. I start to get a depression. I want to just run away. That's why I discharged it and back to the homeless. Okay. The psychiatry gave me the medicine. I got the side effect, like paralyzed my body. People think I'm crazy. I've lost all memories. I felt I'm going to die. And then I just lay down. I can feel something on my pillow. So I said, it's a magazine. Its name is Miracle. The inside of the story is who is healed by Jesus Christ. I read it, and then I don't know why I start crying. And I play for him, you know. Please give me one more chance. I want to live for you. I don't need any money, any honor, anything else. After that day, the stroke symptoms slowly go away and get better. And I come back to VA. That's why I come here. The Haven is here to meet the emergency needs of all veterans. So that is inclusive of homelessness, mental health issues, physical health challenges. They do have to be a veteran. I just heard the Japanese guard somewhere. So we are walking there. That's a small paradise, you know? <laughs> we do our own worship every day. Singing, praying, and get meditation. It's like pretty much healing us. I felt, how about we get our own sanctuary? Why we don't have it? We have plenty of space over there. That's how to start. We have our core program. However, we sometimes will see a veteran not feel comfortable in that arena. Mr. Lee started out by going out watering the grass, cleaning up the area, and we realized that the garden or the sanctuary was more therapeutic than the classes for Mr. Lee. I meet other veterans, they are fine. They are good people. But outside, we are crazy. These guys are homeless. These guys are something problem. That's why I'm here. It was very lonely, you know. Nobody helped me. Even lots of criticize. Hey, hey, Lee, what are you doing? Don't waste your time. Hey, stop watering. Don't make it mud all over the place. It's too late. Grass is not growing back. Someone called the police when I'm working. They arrest me and send me to the psychiatric evaluation because they think I'm doing some stupid things with hammer and saw, you know. They think that's a weapon. But I couldn't explain that. At the times I was really crying, you know. One thing I know, it's devil, it's not a people. Devil know what I'm doing on it. He tried to stop me, but he didn't got my heart. My heart, keep pushing on it. Don't worry about it. God protect you. So next day, I just go back and keep working. And then some veterans look at me, hey Lee, I happy to see you. We worry about you are quit and stopped working. I would watch him on a regular basis and he would sit on the benches all over there along the wall and he would contemplate and look at the whole area. Next thing you know, he's back in the garden again. And he would do this from sun up to sundown. Communal living is difficult for some people to adjust to especially after being out of the military 40, 50, 60 years. We've got guys as old as 80 years old here. It's like its own little jungle. And man should be communing with nature. It makes it better to live. When he started this project right here, there was nothing but dirt. I mean dirt. And uh, you got a volunteer, volunteer plants. You've got the bamboos. All the palm trees were donated. Even the pummy birds. <laughs> oh man, this, this is a miracle. It's truly a miracle that what he did with this property. There used to be cigarette butts all over the place. People had gotten clean about cigarette butts and picking up after themselves. The atmosphere around here is very good. 
you know, in sanctuary and, you know, feel respected. Home Depot was interested in who was doing the gardening projects. So the collaboration was formed. They interviewed Mr. Lee and wanted to include him in the project. And the Haven had unused space in our, in our basement. The idea was, one, to have a space where our veterans can get things that they need. In addition to that, a learning center with our veteran employment services. And so Home Depot agreed to renovate it. And we are here today getting our project completed. Team Depot is uh, something that Home Depot does to give back. They partnered us with Lee because he was doing a lot of the work to the left side. Um, so we partnered with him and got some ideas. We incorporated our vision with his vision for the veterans to be able to come out here and regroup and have some time to themselves. Overall, I think the veterans have changed. We used to see illicit behavior in that area and they actually protected. People misunderstand, hey, you were garden, how's it going on, you know, passing by and ask me, but it's not a garden actually, it's a sanctuary. It doesn't matter after 10 years, after 100 years, you know, somebody will be taking care of it. That is not my garden, that is veterans' garden. They will see, see the sanctuary and they, they were thinking about the God. And someone have a heart probably taking care of the garden. Maybe people sit there and do some meditations or garden therapy, you know, watering, trim on it, you know, planting some flowers. Some people can Bible study over there, you know, and they get some sense from their spirituality.